So here we have the Vauxhall Mokka 1.4 Turbo SE Automatic on a 15 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. On the outside you can see that it's a five door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. If you approach the back of the car you'll see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back round to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. And now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see that it's in lovely condition the whole way round. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. These seats are full leather, as you can see. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, so now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, and on the right-hand side, the speedometer. In the middle, you can see the total miles on this car are 17,016. Uh, it also shows you in that section what gear this car is currently in, and you get various different bits of fuel economy information available as well. Uh, at the top in the centre, we've got the fuel gauge and coolant temperature gauges. If we back out to the steering wheel, on the left-hand side, we've got cruise control and speed limiter controls here. And on the right hand side, we've got the stereo controls, which you can adjust here, and the volume just there. Over in the center, we have the main stereo unit, and then above that, the screen that relates to it. So you can see this car's got FM radio, it has DAB and AM as well. If you want to listen to your own music, you can do. It has a CD player, as well as auxiliary and USB inputs. Uh, so plenty of ways to listen to your music. You can also pair up your phone, and once you've done that, you can stream your music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio as well. So working our way down, you can see the CD player just there, and the buttons I was using on the left-hand side, the main volume for the stereo at the top just there. We then have dual zone climate control, so you can adjust the temperature on either side of the car. Whatever adjustments you make with the fan or with the temperatures, they will all show on the main screen for you as well. Uh, at the bottom here, once you've got the settings where you want them, that button will turn air conditioning on or you can hit auto and the car will maintain the temperatures you've asked for by taking control of the fan speed itself, which you can hear it doing now. You can override that at any point in time you wish to. We've got heated driver seat, heated passenger seat and heated steering wheel as well, which is fantastic uh, for those winter days. Underneath that, we've got the auxiliary and USB inputs underneath this cap here and a 12 volt charging socket underneath there. The button above it just here will turn off or on the parking sensors. We then have the fully automatic gearbox. The buttons on the top here will change up and down a gear manually should you wish to use those. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.